Welcome to a brief overview of Demography Online. So this video is perfect for somebody that is new to the Nest Record Scheme or just new to data entry for Nest Recording. So when you sign up for the Nest Record Scheme or ringing, you'll receive an email that details exactly how to log into Demography Online. You should have your own MyBTO account and that account and password is the only username and password you will need for logging into Demography Online. So if you're part of a group or you're inputting data for somebody else, you don't need to worry about that at the moment. Just always make sure to use your MyBTO username and password for logging in. If you currently don't have a username and password, you'll need to go to the Nest Records homepage and make sure to follow the instructions on signing up online. I'm going to go ahead and log in. If you do have any issues with logging in, then make sure to email apps.demon at bto.org for help. And here we are on the home page. We have eight buttons here and we have a series of menu items in this green bar at the top. You can see that this is my name here and so this will be the name of the account that you are currently operating as. And that is the same name that is up here on the right hand side of the green top menu bar. So it says operating as and then the name. This little blue button at the top that says change is what allows you to operate as different groups and different users for inputting your records. So if you just click that blue operate button, it'll say you're now operating as said group. This will be your default operating as user until you decide to switch back. So it's only when you go and press this blue operate button that you will change who you are inputting records under the name of. So I'm going to change back to my own name and operate as myself on this occasion. Let's just go up to the top and we're going to return to this home page. And this is what allows us to see these eight buttons, which do correlate to the menus at the top, as I mentioned before. I'm just talking through Nest Recording in this video. So enter ringing data isn't something you're going to need to worry about, nor is exploring ring ringing data. Start a new Nest record is reasonably self-explanatory. It is where you'll start inputting details of a record, though it's likely you'll want to create a site first. So I'm going to go into that in a little bit more detail in just a moment. This add, visit, explore Nest data button is what allows you to see records that you've already input in previous years or just previously. And it allows you to view them, to edit them and to create summaries and so forth. Manage sites, that's a really important one because that's where all of your locations for Nest Recording will be stored and where you can manage that information. Effort recording, we'll just click on this one quickly and have a little look. So this brings up a few options. Most of them are irrelevant to you if you're just Nest Recording. So you just want to click NRS at the bottom here. And this allows you to record both annual and daily summaries of your fieldwork activity. So you can input it by individual location or perhaps species. And it just helps to standardize the way that we can record the time spent nest recording. Um, so as you can see here, you can choose to put an annual summary or a daily summary. Then notifications is really only relevant for ringing and manage permissions is only going to be relevant if you are the secretary of a group so you can decide who has access to which permissions and I, I'm not going to go into detail of that in this video that will be for another video. There are a few ways to start a nest record or a couple anyway either you can start if you're inputting for an occasional or a casual location and that would mean that we could go straight into the start a new nest record button or you'll want to set up a site of somewhere that you're regularly visiting and either checking nest boxes or searching for nests, say for example in your patch, in your local woodland, wherever it might be. First I'm just going to really quickly give an example of starting a new nest record in a one-off location and there are other videos where I'll go into more detail of each of these steps. So we're just going to start new nest record and this brings us up with all of the details of the nest record that we need to input and you can see here we've got location we can simply click to add a new location and this brings up either the grid reference the latitude and longitude or the map and i'm just gonna randomly i've never been to this place and there's i don't know maybe there is an s maybe there isn't uh, but we're just going to zoom in we click and drag to move and click to place and that has placed our blue dot here. 
you can drag and move the dot once you've placed it and then once you're happy you can click continue this just brings up very basic details of the location so you've got the grid reference the latitude and longitude pre-populated for you you can then select the habitat i'm just going to put that that is so you can scroll down there's all sorts of habitats to choose from i'm just going to put other farming for now and the nest type we, we can imagine that's a blackbird nest it's not in a nest box so we're going to put unenclosed if you did decide it's a location you want to remember you can tick that for more options to be brought up but really this is the best way to do it if it's a location that you're not planning to record a nest in again this is likely to be the only nest that you're going to be recording here then we can just click add new location the blue button here and you can see that we're creating the new location unnamed location and then you can go ahead and edit that information again or you can cancel it and get rid of it if you've changed your mind we can simply go through the nest record now and add all the relevant information Uh, just very briefly look here because I do go into more detail in other videos you have the core fields here and this is really where you put the most basic information and information that's going to be helpful for you inputting the nest records such as your initials if you're part of a group in particular the observation type default so for example if you visit the nest observe from a distance or use a camera and this is really helpful because that will then pre-populate every time you add a new visit to your nest record then you have additional information in the tabs at the top here so we've got nest site details habitat monitoring details and details of the adult pair and once you've input the information on your record up here you can then go down below and add the information of the actual nest visits so you can add a comment and then input a date a time if you'd like and then you record can record how many live or dead eggs or pulley so i'm just going to put four live eggs and these status codes if you select one status code and you can view all of the codes in the drop down with a useful description so we can say the eggs were uh, say the eggs were warm and then you can go ahead and add another status code here so i'm going to say there was agitated adult and then you can go ahead and select the observation type and the initials so to have the observation type automatically populate you do need to save this information first so you want to make sure to click to save your nest record whenever you finish with the nest record and that is either this button at the very top or the button that is just above the visit location and then you can either start a new nest record select a different option or return to the home so i'm actually going to create a new general site and we're going to look at a way to create a nest record by creating a site first so either you can click sites at the top or we can return to the home and you can select manage sites and both of those buttons will take you to site creation maintenance and management page there are a couple of reasons to create a general site before simply placing a nest on the map a general site will allow you to input information which will be carried across to all of the nests in the site so these are the core properties and it will allow you to run reports on the nests in a certain location so if you're reporting on a farmland or in a woodland or wherever it might be you can run a report on the nest boxes or nests found within that location so if you have three different sites say your garden and then a local park and a local farmland you could then have three separate general sites which would differentiate between those three locations you can also simply place a nest directly on the map so on the left here we have all of the options and you can select nest site and that will allow you to just place a nest and input the details of that specific nest or nest box which is similar to the way that it was done directly through the nest record but it would then remember that location going forward so this would be ideal for placing a nest box a symbol a single nest box in a location we're going to create a general site so again we come to create tools and select general site and we've got this blue dot but rather than just placing the blue dot i'm just gonna 
it's another random location I'm just gonna there's not many woodlands here okay this looks like a nice area so when you click it then actually creates a line so you can create a shape which covers your local patch or the place where you're nest recording so then when you bring that back it snaps nicely into place and creates that shape for you and this is where you can input all of the details of that location making sure that the red asterisks these are all compulsory fields fields that you need to make sure to fill in and it does automatically populate the fields for the location as well and once you've done that you can click save and that will create your site do have a look in the playlist to see videos which go into much more detail about creating your sites and inputting details of a nest record We've been over these buttons here and just the final thing to have a look at are the buttons at the top in the menu. We've got the home which we know brings us back to this landing page. We've got enter data so this drop down and then nest recording takes you to this inputting page for your nest records which is the same as start a new nest record. Explore data nest recording will take you to the same page as add visit and explore nest data which we haven't looked to in, into in this video but we'll touch on in another video. Sites as we know takes you to the manage sites button. Management is again only necessary if you're a secretary and the help is as named a very helpful section. So we've got the daemon manual which we, you can have a look at here and the quick start guide for nest recording which is a very useful place to start when you're getting going with your nest recording. Hopefully you found this video useful and please do check out the other videos for more details of inputting your nest records.